Marcus Conti reporting from the courthouse and the jail at the Southern District of New York where Jeffrey Epstein spent his last week. Ah, look at Jeffrey Epstein's home. That's Metropolitan Correctional Center. There it is, right there. 150 Park Row. He's in there. Right? He's in there. He's in there with Cesar Sayak, you heard? So this is going to be a very interesting day. Today is the big day. Today is the grand finale, right? We learned a lot this week. I'll try to I'll try to recap. I just wanted you to see the jail and know exactly. It's very it's you can't go over there. You go near the building and they yell at you. But we could stay over here, right? So this is the court. This is the jail. 700 inmates in there. And right across here is the court. I don't know how many stories of glory, but there's a lot of floors, right? This is where it all happens, in an, in an underground tunnel right here. Jeffrey Epstein at about 10 a.m. will go out of jail, under the ground, and up into the court. You won't see him coming in. <laughs> you see reporters hanging out over here. <laughs> You're not going to see him because it's underground. So what did we learn this week? We know that so much transpired. Bill Clinton says, I don't know, I was only on the plane four times. The record says 26, I don't know. Uh, Alex Acosta, the, the prosecutor in Florida who was then, was now the uh, you know, Secretary of, of, the, of Housing resigns. Trump comes out publicly. I don't know this guy. He's no friend of mine, right? A lot of shit going down. The NYPD, it shows, that was very interesting too. NYPD allowed Epstein... Let's go this way. I'll see a little more of the court. Allowed Epstein to um, to get a free pass 34 times in the course of his uh, pedophilia career. Right? They gave him a pass. So I just want to uh, I want to talk about today the big event. What's going to happen in that courthouse today at about 10 a.m. Maybe later. Maybe earlier. I don't know. But it's early in the morning here in New York, and Probably at 10 a.m. or so. This is the jail, the back of the jail. <laughs> when do you get to see the back of a prison like this? It's fucking crazy shit, right? Well, cop cars and shit. It's actually quite beautiful down here. Not not in this, not in this desolate alley right here. You see the bridge of size as well, right? So the lawyers walk across to the to the to the jail, right? So again, what you're going to see today is, is monumental. You're going to see one of two things. One, at about 11 o'clock, Jeffrey Epstein's lawyers are going to be able to get him bail. And he is going to walk out of that door fr free for at least a time being. He's going to go back to his home in Manhattan. That's the deal. He's going to go back to his, his luxury mansion in, on 71st Street. And he's going to wait for trial. Or remanded, meaning that he goes back down to court, back under the tunnel, and back into his little cell. Now, if you're a billion, I mean, anybody that's locked in a little cell right now is, 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 uh, is a prisoner, is noticeably angst, right? Especially when you fall from grace from being a billionaire flying around on your own jet. You got four, you know, four super homes all over the world all over the country, right? And then you're confined to a little box. So he's ready to sing. So what I want to do is I want to talk about, I'm not going to make this too long. I just want to talk about the, the uh, theory that I advanced yesterday. Kindly watch that video and you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Here's the deal, right? Is it a, see, pedophile, Epstein, pedophile, victims of pedophilia, right? We, we know all that. That's not, that's not a newsable it's not a newsable, in my view, it's not really that newsable. It is important. But who did he compromise and who gave him cover? Right? First, it was we know somebody gave him cover. <clears throat> but now we might, we can theorize that maybe, just maybe, he compromised a, a lot of people. And that's how he amassed his billions of dollars. I know everybody, you know, deep state, it's, it's CIA, it's FBI. Just, just 
be reasonable for one second and listen to the facts, right? So you have you have a guy. I'll show you fake news, and I'm going to walk back where it's quiet. You have a guy with a with a who claims to be a billionaire, hedge fund manager, and you have these other guys that work in that business say, "Nah, it can't happen. It's really not possible." All right? Let me get some fake news over here, ready to go. Yeah, they'll be standing there all day. Nothing will happen. Maybe till 11 o'clock. Right. So, it may be a lawyer will come out. If he walks out the front door, that'll be monumental. Fake news will get it. I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to stick around and watch that. It's really not that important. It'll all be televised. Fox is here. Everybody's here. Right. That's, not, that's their job. It's not my job. So, so, so here's, a, here's a billionaire hedge fund guy. A billionaire hedge fund guy who claims to be a billionaire hedge fund guy, but nobody could prove it, right? And he has this client list, right? He's got this, this scheme. He's got this client list, right, of, of people, very secretive, shh, very hush-hush, shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody how we're making all our money, right? That's the, that's the theme. He's so good. He's so good at what he does. Shh, don't tell anybody. Right? right? That's that's the that's the play, right? So so is it is that what it is? Is it is it that he's so good or has he compromised his whole list of investors? Has he taken charge, taken full control of their assets, their money, and pays himself off the top of that fund? Hush money. Shh, don't tell anybody. Why? Because because the scenario is this. The whole play, the whole thing is, and the, this is still working theory at this point, but it's starting to, starting to make sense, is that Jeffrey Epstein is a rich guy who had some ties and Bear Stearns. He had some financial ties, but that's not really important. He was just, he was a good mover and shaker, a nice little Jewish boy from, from Brooklyn. Right? He got his, he got his, he, 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 uh, he sharpened his teeth at Bear Stearns. He learned a little about the lingo of Wall Street, right? And 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 then he 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 has this idea, like, fuck it, I'm not gonna work. I'm not gonna work my way up. Why don't I? Why don't I? And and then the and he's a pedophile, right? He likes girls 13 to 16, right? Right? He's not a pimp. In this scenario, he's not a pimp. He's a he's a guy who. Why, you say, well, why does he have a young girl in his house every day? Here's, the, here's my theory on that. This is because Epstein is, the, is, the, is the, um, the talent scout. See, that's what he is. He's a talent scout. He recruits the young girls. They bring them to him. All the girls go through him. And he feels them out. He says, oh, this one's good. This, one's, this, this girl can, can compromise a billionaire. She's, she's, she's savvy. She's intelligent. Right? And then and then she doesn't know what she's getting herself into. Right? Really. And she's invited into, you know, she's being paid a couple hundred dollars, keep her mouth shut. She's happy, got a couple hundred dollars. And she gets invited to, you know, the, the island. Ooh. The sinful island, right? So so that's what it is. It's it's Jeffrey Epstein, his whole gig is maybe, maybe, maybe compromise ten billionaires. With with kitty porn, right? He has these big parties, right? You say to yourself, well, that's a lot of work just to get to compromise one billionaire. But if you compromise one billionaire a year and you've got ten of them giving you billions of dollars, you are a billionaire, <laughs> right? And all you need is a couple of dirty pictures of him screwing a teenage girl. And how do you do it? Well, you invite him to a party. Lolita Island, maybe. Oh, so so secluded, so far away, so out of the eye of, of the public. No one will ever find out. No one will ever know. It's all so shh, secretive, right? And he's he's invited to this big socialite party, and people are, you know, smoking hookah and, and doing yoga and, and visiting the temple and, and, and doing satanic rituals out on the island next to Puerto Rico, right? He flew in by helicopter. There's no law. It's a lawless place, he thinks. The billionaire. Wow, what a privilege. I'm so honored to be part of this, Bill Clinton. I'm so honored. This is so much fun. Right? The, the will to be weird, right? 
Right, so then, so that, so that, so that billionaire, right? Now it's late. He's drunk. He's had a couple. Had a couple. He's high. He's out on the island in the middle of nowhere. Well, you don't think nobody can see him, man. He's fucking invisible, right? In his mind, he's invisible. Totally invisible. And, and then, and then there's this, this young girl just approaches and says, hey, you know, and they hit up a conversation. It's very innocent. Very, now she's, she's already compromised because Epstein's already, you know, done the, done the dirty deed, right? And, and she happens to be 15. Right? And, and, and now they're talking and it's so romantic and they're in the middle of the ocean. Billionaire may or may not know she's 15. Doesn't matter. Right? It's just a young, pretty girl. It's dark. They're drunk. They're drinking. And they go back to a room where the billionaire thinks, oh, nobody, nobody could, nobody gets, nobody's going to know. It's a dirty deed. I'll leave what happens on Lolita Island stays on Lolita Island. <clears throat> right? And he does his dirty deed. Right? And, he, and the girl lures him back to the room full of cameras, maybe infrared cameras. Maybe the lights are on. And you see him in clear view all his, in all his nakedness. Right? Screwing a young girl, 15 years old, under the age of consent in the United States. Pow! Pedophile. Right? Now, that makes a lot of sense. Right? That, that theory is, is so solid. Right? And then, the next morning, he approaches and says, Oh, by the way, that girl was 15. Maybe he shows him a picture. Maybe he says the girl took a picture. Blame the girl. However, they do it. Now, he's that that billionaire's compromised. The story then progresses to, to Epstein saying, "Put a half a billion dollars, put a five hundred million dollars in this hedge fund. I'll, I'll pay myself out of the um, out of the monthly fees, the the quarterly fees, and we'll be happy. Your money's good. It's solid, safe. It's there. Oh, by the way, give me a power of attorney because uh, because in case I have to move it around, you know, for sh hush hush money, you know, put the fucking." Right, so, so the guy's now at this point the billionaire's shitting bricks, right? And he's like, okay, all right, all right, I'll put some money, I'll give give this guy some money, I'll keep him quiet, right? right? And if you do it to ten people, you've got a lucrative business. You don't need outside fund money. Anybody who comes to you and says, oh, I want to, I want to invest with uh, Jeffrey Epstein, which probably never happens, but if it did, you just blow them off because you don't want their money. You don't want non-compromised people's money because they'll complain if you fuck up, right? If your investment goes south and, and, and that person discovers that you're full of shit, they're going to sue you in open court and they're going to blow the shit, they're going to blow the lid off your, your operation, right? So, so, so what do you do? So, so you don't, so you stay away from those people. You just stick with the pedophiles. Now, now that list, right? And I'll get to the point of what's happening today. I know I'm rambling, but it's important because it, it's a fascinating story, right? It is. I, I mean, a week later, we all this stuff that we found out. All right, so, so you've got this list. You've got this account somewhere. Maybe it's an account. Maybe because Epstein has power of attorney, he just takes their initial lump sum, puts the money in his pocket, and calls it a day. Right? And he pays himself out of that. But it's his money now, right? Essentially, the, the billionaire can't complain because Epstein's got kiddie porn videos of him. Right? So, so you've got these 10 billionaires compromised, and that is your business plan. That's the, that's the whole shit. So now that Epstein is in the Southern District of New York in a little box, and if he is held today, that very, that very trove of kitty porn, all of those compromised individuals will become the power play. That will be, that's what the investigators will bargain for. Give, give, us, your, give us your client list. Expose your fake hedge fund. Give us that list. Oh, yeah. And give us the trove of, of compromised video. Where is it? Is it buried on Lolita Island? It could be. Is it, is it, is it an operation so far that maybe they, they killed some of these young girls? They take them from Cambodia or Myanmar or, or the Philippines and they, you know, there's snuff video going on. What all, what, to what extent is this deviant 
world of Jeffrey Epstein and his 10 or 20 or 50 billionaires, compromised, scared billionaires, to what extent is that sort of corruption, right? So he's going to swing on, at this time, there's witnesses coming forward, there's new information coming forward. We're not going to see anything, again, today it's either he makes bail, which, is, which, is a, which just should be riots in the street if that happens. He either makes bail and walks out that front door, which the cameras are going to catch. I'm not going to stick around trying to catch it. All right? Or he's remanded back to jail. And that's justice served because if the Southern District lets him out, he's a flight, he's a flight risk. He's also, because there's 10 billionaires floating around it that he has compromised, they probably try to kill him, right? At this point, they have to, right? So he's a he's a flight risk. He's he's a he's he's a, a potential target. If they can't get it get it, they can't catch him out on the street, they'll blow his house up, right? So he is to let him out just because he can make the bail. Just because oh, I'll put up my house. Hey, right, what the house that you stole from the billionaires? The money that you used to buy the house that you stole from the billionaires and you did it on the back of young children? Well, that's not collateral in my view. Right? That's not collateral at all. So, so that's what you have. Right? That's what you have. That's the story right now of, of, of Jeffrey Epstein early in the morning. Other people want to say, okay, it's uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the deep state, it's the FBI. Oh, uh, also, what happened afterwards? Now, there's a lot of speculation as to what Jeffrey Epstein did with his money, right, in buying, buying media, buying PR, buying things that support his false narrative, right? In my view, that's irrelevant at this point. I know there's a whole world of people out there. They're social engineers. They're engineering social. It's fucking competition, you jerk-offs, right? There's no, I mean, if Epstein was, was funding these little super PACs and and, and throwing, you know, sprinkling money around. Well, that's, that's legal. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with taking money that's placed in your PayPal account. If you're deliberately confusing, you know, news and internet, well, that's, you know, eventually you'll be exposed. You know, eventually those guys, they don't last. Uh, that's Channel 5 here, fake news. Fake news. All right, so... Eventually, you'll, those, those kind of people will air out. So that's not really the story at all. What, what Jeffrey Epstein, how he, how he bought media to, to, uh, to confuse the narrative and the political agenda. And <laughs> that's ridiculous. Who cares? What we care about is, is how a billionaire in America can, can buy his way out of statutory rape. Because he's got a couple billion dollars laying around, he could do that. All right? How one man from Brooklyn, one Jewish man, used Jewish lightning to strike down on his enemy. Right? And, and take him down, take him to the cleaners, and live high on the hog. And then confined to a little cell in, in, in the southern district of New York, facing possibly 45 years. So Epstein will probably... My, my, my prediction is that Epstein will be held, remanded back to the Southern District, and then a plea bargain will begin where, where his lawyers will try to get, 90% of the time, there'll be a plea bargain in this area. There'll be no trial. There's not going to be a trial. He'll try to, to plea bargain for five or ten years max, right? He's not going to get his properties back. That's it. Five or ten years max that he'll serve. Right? Yeah, he'll be registered sex offender. That's not worth anything, really. Right? And in exchange for that sweetheart deal, that's about as sweet it's gonna as sweet as it's gonna get. Maybe ten years in jail. Right? He gives up his list, his trove of kitty porn, his the material that almost certainly exists that he used to compromise his victims. Marcus Conti reporting.